All right, everybody, what's up? Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build your own log manifold for a turbo on an LS. Let's get started. To start with, I'm going to show you what I have here, which is my 6 liter. You may or may not have seen in some of my other videos. Um, and in addition to that, I have a pair of Trailblazer SS exhaust manifolds. Now these come courtesy of my buddy Eric, who has a cool Trailblazer SS with headers and low range four wheel drive and everything else. Um, what we're going to start with is the driver's side right here. Um, I'm going to mock that up on the engine and show you how to get started. Okay, so what I have here in my hand is the stock passenger side Trailblazer SS manifold. And it's going to go on your engine like this and make power and make you happy. It's as easy as this to make a turbo manifold. You get a couple of my bolts out here. So in some of the forums, I see people, you know, like, what kind of kit should I use? How should I do this? Well, unless you have no tools and no skills, you should do this. Absolutely, without a doubt, the way to go. All right, so let me show you what we have here. This is going to be the start of your turbo manifold. Okay, these are symmetrical ports. See how it all lines up? Your bolt holes all line up. You can flip these side to side or you can flip them up and down. It doesn't matter. Like this is a passenger side manifold I just flipped it upside down. It's still on the passenger side of the engine. Okay. I bolted it in loosely just for mock-up purposes. You see, I'm going to have a ton of clearance for my AC compressor and everything else. Um, these mounts are going to have to go. They don't clear the AC compressor. That little nub in the front, the little triangle is not going to fit them. Um, yeah, I got tons of room around my starter. I don't have a starter on there, but you get the idea. This is going to clear absolutely everything that goes on this engine, which is the reason to do it. Um, I'm just going to come through here and cut the top off, and we'll show you that here in a moment. All right, so I'm going to start by cutting the stock flange off, and uh, we'll go from there. But you can do this. All it takes is... Uh, $15 Harbor Freight grinder and some time. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, phase one complete. It's not pretty, but it will do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this off right here, just like this, this very top. I'll actually get a paint pen and draw it for you. And this is the hardest part, like, trust me, because this is not hard. That's it, that green line, that's my cut line. I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse while I do this. This is the hardest part of it because you see that that's pretty thick wall stuff, but trust me, if you can cut stuff with a grinder, you can make a turbo, you can put a turbo on your truck for 700 bucks. Let's get back to it. I'll show you real quick. I'll show you real quick down here where uh, you get to this end. It's hard to make that radius with a grinder. So what I'm doing is scalping it. Like, whoosh. Then once I get around, I'll go back to making a straight cut. So again, you see it's kind of tedious even on 12X fast forward. But totally doable. I've been at this for like five minutes. So don't be intimidated. party people voila one nicely scalped trailblazer ss turbo manifold um i'm pretty much going to leave it at that today i set you down and explain to you what's coming next all right so that's it for this episode um Following this method, you're going to be able to get a turbo on your truck for like 700 bucks, And $320 of that is going to be buying the damn turbo. It's going to clear all your accessories. It's going to clear your AC. It's going to clear everything. Your water pump. You're not going to have a problem with your spark plugs. You know, this was already on there from the factory. And then these manifolds, I, I know it's been said, well, a lot of you have heard it, but some people still haven't. These are cast steel manifolds. You can weld normal, regular steel to them. You can do it with normal, regular MIG welder like I have over here, which is what I'm gonna do. So I've got some, I've got some pipe and some tubing coming in and I'll show you what I'm gonna do there. And I'll, I'll explain it to you briefly now. Basically what I'm going to do, um, I'm probably going to have to cut this more flat over here. I have a 45 that's going to go right here and my turbo is going to sit right up here. Um, 
all of this I'm gonna put a two and a half inch piece of pipe right here and I have a 90 that's gonna dump down right there and I'm pretty sure that I can keep it just past the bell housing so that I can still get to that plug you see you'll be able to get to all these plugs no problem um, there's plenty of room in here to get your plug wires through also not a problem this one might be a problem I'm not sure but if I have to I'll relocate them but I don't think I will I'm pretty sure that this is gonna go off pretty smoothly so like I said you can do this the gist of it is that it literally does not make sense to do anything other than a turbo on an LS engine if you want to be different, you know, I see people, I want to be different. Well, then go get a Volkswagen Scirocco engine and swap that in your vehicle. Pound for pound, dollar for dollar, this is going to make 500 horsepower on like 6 PSI. It's going to run on regular gas. Well, it's going to run on pump gas. It's going to run on 91 octane, and we'll be able to drive it anywhere in the country. We're going to have AC and we're gonna be into this whole project for less than $2,000 and it just does not make sense to do nitrous. It does not make sense to do a supercharger. It does make sense to catch yourself on fire because you're sitting too close to your heater. Um, none of this other stuff adds up. Ford, small blocks, you know, I'm gonna do an Explorer short block with an E-cam and a Paxton. No, you're spending way too much money. I'm going to go over to the machine shop and get it up just in case you're spending way too much money. Get an engine out of the junkyard, pay less than $500 for it, get a transmission out of the junkyard, a 4L80, no other transmission, pay less than $400 for it, flip your manifold upside down, cut the bottom of it off, weld some tubing onto it or have a buddy weld it. Hell, you can JB weld it together and take it over to a shop and have it welded if you don't have the capability do this it's too cheap it's too simple it's too easy look at me look at all the other clowns on the internet doing this going fast having fun doing donuts and having less than you know five grand in their entire car there is no why you're at it this this is the way to go so follow along stay tuned i'm going to work on the wiring harness this week and wrap that up um my turbo manifold parts will be in shortly. I don't actually have a turbocharger yet, so that's going to be a hold up there. But I'm going to keep plugging away at this budget LS swap. And you guys who are into this, follow along. If you're not, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Go watch Power Block or something. This is JR. Till next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you.